Hey Liquor Hound with you once again uh, and let me tell you this part two of my rarest bottle video uh, kind of got out of hand. Once I started pulling down my really rare tequilas I quickly started running out of room so I had to add in a little table here just for my rums and a couple of uh, other little odds and ends. And let's go ahead and get this one rolling since there's so many with Pat's the Irish Pachin Vodka. Uh, again this is from Ireland very unique very rare bottle uh, I was only able to find two bottles of it, uh, but it's very, very tasty. Red Army Vodka, uh, discontinued in 2002 here in the U.S. Uh, fantastic recipe coming out of uh, Russia. Here's a premixed tuxedo cocktail, and if we look at the date, guaranteed under the Food and Drug Act of June 30th, 1906, and was inventoried on October 3rd of 1917. So a very, very old bottle. Next, this is Pirate Rum. This is the Patron version. Just crack that open. You can see, you can tell this one because it has the brown ribbon on it. And it's also named Cask, actually, 1623. The really old one, which is this one right here, was numbered, has a little medallion right on the front of the cedar box, and it's known as Cask 23. You can tell there's no brown ribbons on it. That stuff is by far uh, one of my all-time favorite rums. Next, we have Planter's Gold, which is the younger brother to the Cask 23. Again, totally different than the currently readily available uh, Patron version. Uh, but if you can find the Planter's Gold, you definitely need to add that to your collection. RL Seals and Myers Legend. Next, we have Coyopa Rum. Unique thing about them is, see a little speaker down on the bottom. Uh, used to play a tune whenever you picked it up, and actually this little four segments of the label would light up. So pretty neat packaging. Grand Blason Añejo, Mount Gay 1703, followed by the big brother, the Tricentennial Mount Gay. Very very difficult to find that one. And another one that's very difficult, of course, had to be in here was. The British Royal Navy Imperial Rum and the Demijohn. Again, one all time favorite rums. That one's just so unique and uh, very flavorful. Bacardi Reserve. Uh, the Reserve used to be only available in Puerto Rico at their visitor center, but now it's, uh, I think they released a thousand bottles or something like that to the U.S. Angostura 1824. That one's been gone for quite a while. Uh, Diplomatico, this one actually disappeared and I think now it's starting to come back. So if that one's on your shelf, then add that one. It's very good. El Dorado 15, this was a very old bottle that I found. And El Dorado 21. Appleton 21, followed by an old Captain Morgan Spice uh, rum. This is their private stock. Used to come in a red velvet bag. Ron Botran, Zaya. Now the thing on this one is, got to look again, yeah, let's see, it's, it's uh, imported from Guatemala. And the new bottle, the one that you'll see on your liquor stores now, is bottled in Trinidad and is not as good as the old stuff. Santa Teresa, 1796. It's a very nice one. Ron Centenario. This is the 20 year old. Very, very good stuff. I really like the leather packaging. An old wicker uh, wrapped Ron Zacapa 23. And followed by the Ronza Kappa XO. Now we're going to get into some uh, tequilas. Actually, I have you know what? I have one more rum way back here in the back. It's just going to be Charbet uh, Vanilla Rum. Again, Charbet is really it's available. It's just that they're produced in such small batches that they're really limited on their distribution, and uh, it makes them pretty rare. Let's go ahead and get going with um, Del Maggi, Chichicapa and the Pachuga right here. Both of those are mezcals. Um, very, very smoky, very nice. And here we go in the tequilas. Buscadores Añejo and Buscadores Reposado. Um, tequila Nacional. It's a Blanco that was made here in the United States, actually. Actually, the guy was from the United States and went down to Mexico and started doing his own thing, and they kicked him out. Uh, let's see. El Grito, that's the Añejo, 
And there's a Reposado followed by the 100 Proof Hoven. In the very back there is going to be Puro Verde. That's their reserve. Um, that's a fantastic tequila if you have access to that one. Uh, tequila Alcatraz, Mi Mexico, and here comes the white label El Tesoros. Of course, collectors always love the El Tesoros. There's the silver, the Reposado, and the Añejo. The one thing to look for on these is the Robert Denton uh, import label. Uh, they were imported by three different importers, but the Robert Dentons were always known to be the most flavorful in the best batches. Chinaco, one of the early editions, still wrapped. Um, and then there's the silver right behind it. Very nice. Tequila El Mayor. This is when they used to hand paint their bottles. And it's the Añejo, followed by the Reposado. And in the very back here is going to be Conquistador Reposado. Let's see, next to that, a really big boy. This is going to be the Barrique by Porfirio. Only 2,000 of those were created. And your regular old Porfirio Añejo. Of course, all these are next to impossible to find anymore. Blanco and the old ceramic Reposado. Followed in front, Don Añejo. It's a Reposado as well. Of course, here's a really nice bottle. Grand Patron Buderos. And here's Heradoras, Selección Suprema. Followed by El Tesoro's 70th anniversary and their Paradiso. And the Paradiso is again uh, the foil top. Those are the ones that were really, really uh, great. Uh, they started doing them in plastic and they're just, the tequila inside is still really good. It's just not quite up to the level of the old foil wrapped ones. There's a huge 3 liter Heradura which makes that 1.75 of Jose Cuervo Reserve look kind of tiny. Now that's uh, actually from 1996 is when that one was created. Here's the Millennium Edition 1800. I left the box out just because it's taking up a little too much room. And another fantastic Jose Cuervo, the Añejo. Again, if you ever see that one, geez, tremendous, tremendous tequila. El Jimador, the limited edition. Followed by an old Foster basket weave, Casa Noble. It's kind of unique. They always um, there's people that know a lot more about this than me, but up here on the top they used to have, or they do have Casa Noble, and of course the basket weave is what they're known as. And the, if you look on the bottom, it says Foster, so that's what they call the Foster basket weaves. Next, El Reformador. We have the Añejo, the Reposado, and the Blanco. Followed by Cava Santa and Rey de Copas. That's a great tequila. Behind that we have Amate Silver, the Reposado, and the Blanco. I'm sorry, backwards. Blanco, Reposado, and the Añejo. Here's the Añejo. Etaleje, Ordain, and Tequila Lapis. Now the Lapis is pretty unique in that, again, it's a misspelled bottle. This is one of their very first releases. It's supposed to be spelled with an S, not the Z. And they actually just made it wrong all over the place. Uh, anyway, it's kind of collectible. The one thing you'll notice on a lot of these, a lot of my tequilas, I have to replace the corks in them. Uh, tequilas are infamous for having really poor quality corks. So you always have to keep an eye if you're going to be keeping tequilas for any length of time. Keep an eye on those corks and replace them as necessary. Here's a uh, Husang's. Uh, tequila. This is a very old Añejo. The unique thing about the Husangs was the 100% agave. Um, you know, if you look now, if you find them, which they're really, really getting kind of hard to find anyway, they did away with the 100% agave. So that's missing nowadays. And there's the Reposado. Followed by Del Dueño. And Tres Mujeres. It's kind of a unique little, looks like a little purse. Salsa commemorative. This one's up here because it's in the old uh, bottle style. From what I heard, they're thinking about going back to that. Salsa three generations in the old blown embossed little bottle there. 
and got that on Reposado. This is another Salsa creation. It's been discontinued along with the Triada. And last but not least, it's going to be Las Trancas. Now this was a nice little bottle back in the day. Again, blown. It's got a little purple line in it and the little glass stopper. We ran through those finally. So uh, again, thank you for watching. And hopefully I think I'm going to shoot. I don't know what I'm going to shoot next. I think I'm going to do... Probably, oh, I had a request for my liqueur, so maybe I'll get on that. Well, thank you again, and everybody take care. Cheers.